we stop to reflect on a topic that we often avoid, but which is crucial to our understanding of God's sovereignty, divine wrath manifested through nature. As we examine the scriptures, we realize that nature is not just a backdrop for our lives, but also a powerful expression of God's character. We live in an increasingly challenging era, and with each passing day, we become apprehensive about the future. However, the Bible reveals to us that God is love, but it also warns us about His justice and wrath. In fact, in several passages, we can observe how nature, under the sovereign control of the Lord, becomes the vehicle of His wrath. It is not uncontrolled or irrational anger, but rather a just and equitable response to humanity's rebellion and sin. We remember the Bible stories that clearly illustrate this principle. The flood in Noah's time is a striking example of God's wrath manifesting itself in nature. The water that covered the earth was not just a physical flood, but rather a divine act of judgment against the wickedness and corruption that it spread. Today, we look around us and see the signs of God's wrath manifested in nature. Violent storms, devastating earthquakes, and other natural disasters remind us of God's awesomeness and power. However, we must understand that these events do not occur at random. They are messages of divine sovereignty, inviting us to reflect on our lives and repent. God's wrath in nature is not an invitation to fear, but rather a call to humility and submission before the Creator. We must recognize that we are finite beings in a world created and sustained by an infinite God. Instead of resisting His wrath, we should seek refuge in His love and mercy, finding hope in the redemption that is available through Christ. Dear brothers, in the face of God's wrath manifested in nature, we are reminded of the need to live godly lives, seeking justice, loving our neighbors, and living in submission to the Lord. May we learn from the lessons of biblical and contemporary history, recognizing that God's wrath is a call to repentance and reconciliation with Him. Ultimately, God's wrath on nature is not the end of the story, but rather a means by which He seeks to restore humanity to communion with Himself. May we respond to this call with humble hearts, seeking the grace and mercy that can only be found in the cross of Christ. But say here in the comments what you think is happening in the world, and is it a simple coincidence or signs of the end of times?